Hello everyone, regular viewers, welcome back. For anyone who's new to the channel, welcome to Mark on Motoring, the channel for all things motoring related, whether that be reviewing various vehicles or motoring related events. Now, one of the many features on this channel is chart in progress of my uh, 1997 Renault Megane Coupe, which uh, should keep me in DIY tasks for quite some time to come. So, in our last video, we replaced an engine mount which had completely perished. One of the other jobs I'd noticed that needed doing was the front anti-roll bar bushes, which, although they'd not completely failed, they were very badly cracked and grazed. So, what we're doing in this video today is actually removing the front anti-roll bar entirely, um, with a view to replacing the two D-bushes. Now, the D-bushes... Um, basically two rubber bushes in the shape of a letter D with a hole through the middle to mount the anti-roll bar um, and this is a point where the bar actually mounts to the vehicle itself there are, there are um, two bolts holding the uh, two D bushes in place and then there are another two bolts that hold the end of the anti-roll bar. No drop links on this, so the anti-roll bar goes straight onto the lower control arms. Have you been working on something like this yourself? Drop a comment below. Now you may recall I mentioned that there are no drop links at the end of the anti-roll bar on this vehicle. So rather we've just got a bar going directly onto the lower control arm. There is a U-shaped uh, clamp and a single bolt holding that in place. Now um, you will have also noticed at the start of this video I sprayed some uh, penetrating fluid um, just to try and loosen up the threads on this bolt and initially I'm undoing the bolt here with the um, this sort of sliding T-bar um, rather than using a ratchet just just it with the bolt being quite old just in case it's all seized on so um, yeah initially we, we break the um, break that open and then we can switch over to a ratchet to uh, finish the job off Even with the fixing bolts removed, there's a lot of tension on this bar. So you'll see here, I'm uh, just gently using a pry bar just to release it from its um, location. And here we have a badly cracked D-bush. So on the other side of the vehicle, same thing, just undoing that um, end of the roll bar from the lower arm. Now, in some countries, you may actually know this as a sway bar, but it's essentially the same thing, it's an anti-roll bar. And all that does, is you can see from the shape of the bar here, um, as the suspension compresses on one side of the vehicle, it tries to rotate that bar, um, and obviously it just transmits force to the suspension on the other side of the car to reduce the amount of body roll. Obviously changing the... Um, thickness of the bar for example are things you can do to work which can have quite a dramatic effect on the way the vehicle handles as well. So obviously I've managed to slide that bar out, the manual does actually say to remove the exhaust downpipe and the gear linkage um, but not so much a problem when removing. Oh, it does add a little complication when returning the bar back to position though. So what we've done here is we've pulled the bar out and obviously 24 years of um, wear on there, it has started to um, maybe not rust through, it's a solid bar, but um, the finish on it has started to flake away. So we've given it a good rub down and then we just 
cleaning off all the excess dust there with alcohol. And the um, the next part of the process then we will uh, treat with the um, rust converter. Obviously we try and remove as much as we can first just to make sure it doesn't start to eat its way back through again. Obviously we apply that to the full length of the bar and then once that's had time to work and everything's clean and dry we go over with a, um, a primer paint and we do this obviously on the bar and on the brackets for the debushers and the, um, the bushes at the end of the bar as well and then we finish that off with a nice coat of gloss black Then we just need to give that some time to dry and we can start putting it back on the vehicle. Uh, something I'm using here as well, in the manual it suggests to use a, um, a grease, a lithium based grease, just for the um, bushes at the end. Now um, I know it's often debatable about whether you should put grease on, obviously some petroleum based products that can actually eat through the rubber. So. I've not used it on the D bushes, but I know on um, uprated bushes people sometimes do use a grease as well. So here's the issue I was talking about now, I've had to thread the bar back through and I did actually scratch the paint on it in the process so I'll have to go touch them back in with a brush later on. So it was actually a bit of a pig getting this bar back on, I had to do a lot of levering to get it back into place because of the tension on the bar. But um, once back in place, obviously, done all the nuts and bolts back up and the um, all four bolts are torqued back up to 32 newton meters as per the specification in the workshop manual. Reinstallation actually proved a little problematic uh, with me having to use a pry bar to lever it, the bar into place. Um, and it took me so long, the weather actually changed as well. Um, but uh, we got the job done in the end, so it's another one ticked off. Um, make sure you subscribe. The next video will most likely be doing the, um, the brakes on the car, but I've also got some uh, other videos not on the Megane, um, which we'll be uploading very soon as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.